Good morning, everybody. June 25th, day 129. Just getting ready to head out. We've got everything uh, packed up, ready to go. Got a few more things just to get ready. I know Bluegrass is still getting his coffee and getting everything ready to go. And he's all taken care of, all fixed up. Still got a little bit of swelling, but uh, got his medication now. So he should be taken care of. So we should be good to go going forward. We'll be back in the woods in just a little little while and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we get out there. All right, we are back in the woods. Once again, going at it. Kind of cool this morning, which is very pleasant. Had a day of rest, so we're a little bit refreshed. And I get to acknowledge the trail this morning. Didn't get to do that yesterday. Yep, we're still in New York, and they're giving us our first challenge of the day. Well, we got another obstacle, another puzzle to figure out. We're going all the way up there. To turn off the video because I had to use both hands at one time so new bluegrass was back there so I figured I'd video him coming up Like it's nothing. Maybe I took the harder route. <laughs> it's amazing. The difference of having the trekking poles in both hands because you use them for balance. Sometimes you just need both hands.
Up some more. All right, guys, look what we found. Got to back up a little bit to get to it, but somebody left us a water cache. Fresh water with ice cubes in it. And we got a bench. So you know what we do when we get a bench? We sit down on this bench and take a little break. And it's gonna be a very little break because it's still early in the morning and we got to go. But let you guys read the sign. And then we'll go ahead on in there. If you read the sign, this is somebody's yard. And I'm not gonna go in there, but even though we got an invite to go in there, but I think it's pretty nice of them. They set up a nice free library with chairs and everything to sit down on. Got your Sasquatch crossing sign. It's nice of them to do something like that. Kind of a pretty little walkway through here. I'm gonna share this with you. New York continues to be very rugged, but it's a rugged beauty, so. We're slowly chipping away at it. Just the mileage counts don't go quite as fast as they have been. But we couldn't ask for a better morning. Right now it's still only, it's almost, it's almost nine o'clock, not quite nine o'clock in the morning. And it's still only 68 degrees, so nice hiking. rare flat points we've had in New York. These have been hard to come by. Well, we got us a cooler here. Doesn't mean there's anything in it, and from the looks of it, it's rained a few times because it got dirt all over it. Shuttle resupply slack packet. This is from a shuttle driver. I think it's more advertising than anything. Yep, it is definitely. Oh well, it's worth a, worth a shot. Got a lot of empty cans in it. beautiful campsite but we're nowhere near ready to do that it's not even quite lunchtime yet even though we're probably gonna have lunch right here because we're getting ready to come to a water source we can hear it running like most of the water sources in this area I'm sure the water's probably gonna be tinted just a little bit because it's coming from a marsh but it is flowing very, very well, as you can see and hear. So 
So we may just, we're gonna definitely fill up here. We're out of water. And may just eat lunch here. I wanna take you around on this side because even though you could hear the water, you really couldn't see what I could hear. So let's bring it back over here so now you can see what we see. Okay, now I'll go get some more. We'll make sure I came over here and got a picture of the beaver dam. That's where all that water was coming from. Looks like this is going to be our next obstacle. Huh. Knew that was too easy. Got to put this thing away. This is interesting. Going over a wall. Looks like this. Obviously man-made, but looks like some kind of bridge or dam, but there's no water behind it. Don't know why it was built. Why it's different than any other part of the trail. I mean, it's interesting, fun to look at, but I just don't know what it's all about. Maybe you guys do. Kind of glad I have it because I don't have to go down the hill and then back up, but I just walk across this. Don't quite understand it. Kind of swampy down there. I think we're getting ready to come to a lake and that's probably the tail end of the lake, more so than a swamp. But it's a beautiful area through here. Folks, this is the telephone of the wind. I saw it out here and I said, what is a telephone doing out here in the middle of nowhere? So I'm gonna let you guys read that. And it's just a telephone. Y'all know me by now. Stuff like that chokes me up. I can't talk when I read stuff like that. So I had to wait a little bit till I got a little further down trail before I could talk about it. I think it's sweet though. It's a good, good token from somebody. And a good idea if it gives one person comfort. Out of the woods, got a view, good view 
of Canopus, Canapus, I don't know how you pronounce it, C-A, C-O-N-A-P-U-S, I don't know how to pronounce that, Canapus. Either way, it's a beautiful little lake, there's a beach on it. Problem is, you got two blazes here, you got a white blaze and a blue blaze. Blue blaze takes you down to the beach, takes you to a shelter, and what should be a concession stand, but it's very well advertised that the concession stand is closed for the foreseeable future. White Blaze takes you up the other way, up over the mountain where the Blue Blaze takes you around the mountain. But you know, guys, we're following the White Blaze, so we gotta take it. So we'll be going over the mountain. Well, we can see the lake down there. It's too high to jump in. Kayak are going through there. <sighs> All right, we got us a view of Canap Canapus, Canapus. Beach, Canopus Lake. Pretty good view. There's way on back there. 
Looks like they're having a grand old time too. This might have to do for our green tunnel of the day. Another section where I don't think there's a whole lot of day hikers that come through here. We can't even see where we're stepping. We're gonna have a view up here or not. But I went ahead and got the camera ready just in case we did. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good view up here. But it's not gonna be like what we thought. Because it's not like we're coming up one and just stopping. But somebody painted a nice US. USA flag in memory of September 11th. And this is the view we have, guys. It's got a transmission line going through there. But... I almost feel like I'm bushwhacking up here. But there's a white blaze, so I know I'm going the right way. Pretty down here, but it sure is buggy. Hey guys, we just walked into RPH Cabin, which is Ralph's Peak Hikers Cabin. Came around, everybody's getting set up. A lot of hikers here tonight. We're all sitting around, but what the good part about it, when we came around through here, look at all the trail magic that was provided by Sparks. <laughs> Sparks, by the way, just somebody could tied in about two weeks ago. That's right. Two weeks ago. That's so right. 
So she started, what really makes me feel bad though, she started about a week before I did. So, <laughs> so she was, she was flying up the trail. She, she, she literally had wings on as she was going up the trail. So, cause uh, what day did you say you started? Uh, February 3rd. February 3rd, about a couple weeks. I've started on the 18th of February. So a couple weeks before I did, but still, I think I'm more than a couple weeks away. So, <laughs> so anyway, this is where we're going to call home tonight. As you see, we're all setting up. Everybody's getting everything ready. This is going to be home for tonight, and we will head out bright and early tomorrow morning. So until then, this is Bandit, and we're still heading north.